Hello, welcome to lesson 11, Memory Allocation in C-Sharp, brought to you by Ankpro Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we'll learn what are the two types of memory, stack and heap. In, to understand it clearly, I'm having a sample program and I'm having here a method called method1. The name of the method itself is method1 and I'm having three lines of code. One is, this is the starting point of the method and this is the ending point of the method and here int i is equal to 4 is the line 1 and int y is equal to 2 is the line 2 and I've, I've initialized a class and I've created an object to understand what is class and object we'll see in the coming session we'll discuss about classes and objects in the coming session just of now ignore it now when we initialize int i is equal to 4 in this method what happens how the variable stores the value and how it allocates the memory in C sharp it is something like this in the line 1, when this line is executed, the compiler allocates a small amount of memory in the stack. The stack is responsible for keeping track of the running memory need, needed in your application. Keep in mind that two types of memory, stack and heap. Stack always store the value type, value data types, that is int, uh, float, double value, that will be stored in the stack. And coming to heap, uh, heap will store all the reference type, reference data types like string, classes, etc. That type of, if you, if you are initializing a string and you're storing a value in it and that will be stored in the heap memory and if you're initializing integer flow double values and that will be stored that will be there, and for them the memory will be allocated in the stack keep in mind now when I initialize int i is equal to 4 in stack it created a variable called i and it has assigned a value 4 this is how it allocates memory in the stack coming back to the second line int y is equal to 2 what happens when int y is equal to 2 is done now the execution moves to the next step as the name says stack it stacks this memory allocation on top of the first memory allocation you can think about the stack as a series of compartments of boxes now to understand this we'll jump into a diagram you, as I said all the ref value types will be stored in a stack now since it is integer it is stored int i is equal to 4 in the stack and now the second line is int y is equal to 2 and that will be stored above i is equal to 4 this is how stack stores the values in it and that is the first the first line will be at the bottom and int y is equal to it is the second step if we store any other variable it comes and sits on the stack on the previous value where we are declared this is how the stack works and coming to the third line I have created a class class 1 and the variable name is class CLS 1 and when we create new it becomes object now creating now we are creating an object of class 1 this is how you create a this is how you create an object class 1 CLS 1 is equal to new class 1 and CLS 1 is the object of this class now to understand it clearly we have created an object when this line is executed it creates a pointer onto the stack it creates a pointer onto the stack and the actual object is stored in a different memory allocation called heap to understand this this is the line 3 now when I initialize this what happens is it will allocate a memory but it stores the pointer to the stack but the object the actual object will be stored in the heap this is how the heap works now this is the ending point of the method 1 and when when it hits this point whatever the value is stored in the stack that memory will be released so the stack is empty now but in the heap the values whatever we store will be as itself it will be it will be remaining uh, this work the cleaning of heap will be done by the garbage collector this is how stack and heap works thank you have a great day please subscribe to ankpro training below